Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the new drivers that Nvidia launched. The new drivers are also made for Windows 11, so they have support for Windows 11. If we go into the official Nvidia forum, we can see that starting the branch release 470, Nvidia is introducing support for Microsoft Windows 11. So if you're a Windows Insider user, they invite us to share our feedback and report our display driver issues with us if there are any. So far, I didn't have any, but of course, I strongly recommend you to go into the GeForce Experience app and update your game-ready drivers to the latest version. As you can see here, the latest version would be 451.41, so I'm just gonna go and download the latest version and install it. I'm also curious, let me know in the comments down below if you installed these new drivers from NVIDIA, if you had any issues with the graphics side of Windows 11. So far, I didn't have any because starting with 4.70, uh, they... Um, offered support for Windows 11, but so far I didn't have any issues and I didn't see things reported from users. So that's why I'm asking you to comment down below and let me know if you had any issues. So with these new drivers, I'm sure that Windows 11 will have a better performance overall because of course they provide support for Windows 11. Windows 11 has the same kernel as Windows 10, but a lot of new visual stuff and of course, Windows 11 provides new features that can sometimes affect maybe the performance of your computer. Hopefully, these drivers, these NVIDIA drivers will help us having a better performance and of course, getting all there is to get from our hardware components. I'm actually going through the installation process right now. I'm usually using the Express installation. Of course, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you've done this before, but I'm showing the process. Maybe some people don't know how to update their drivers, so I'm just going through the whole process. Basically, now it's gonna install, it's gonna flash the screen black sometimes in this installation process, because basically it's changing the graphics card drivers, and after that, we're gonna be good to go after a computer restart. Those being said, don't forget to update your NVIDIA graphics card drivers because they now provide support for Windows 11 and hopefully an overall better performance. If this video is useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from tech Base. until next time, have a nice day.